day, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. My name is Amaka from A City Bank. Okay, I'm um, from uh, Mr. Bernard. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Yes. Um, I'm still at the office, but I'll be leaving in the next um, 30 to 40 minutes. Okay, no problem, sir. I could come to your office. No, no, no. I don't think um, we come to the office. Let's please. Better we uh, let's meet at the meet at the hotel. I could send you the address of the hotel. It's better that way. A hotel? Yes, a hotel. That's where I'll be free because I'm living here and that's where I can relax. So we come, we have a couple of drinks. I will check the account and see how I can open my account with your with your bank. Women, we don't necessarily have to sleep with. Anyone to get to any position of authority. So what we have, when we are promoting that image and showing that you know, women can do more, and a lot of people say, "Oh, we are seeing what you're doing, you are really progressing and all that." They, they won't come to me and say, "Come and sleep with me," because they know that I have a brain. I'm using my brain to achieve a whole lot for what I'm doing. Across the hall, and like, seemingly smattering of women, like sprinkling the black of the sea of salt. And then, like, it's a problem. It's like this African side that really see young people as not being too serious. Yes. <laughs> they, just, they just feel, oh, young people. I don't know why they think that way, especially in our culture. Okay, oh, it's a child. It's does the that. Who is speaking? Oh, that. Oh, just forget it. A dynamic and they take risks and they are just as creative. And for a lot of these older women, they started changing and shifting and dismantling systems when they were young. Society has made it feel like women cannot put on that shoes. And I'll tell you, leadership, I and mean, when you go down memory lane and look at the history, women actually define leadership. You know, is it in America? Is it in Africa? Is it in Nigeria? Young women have the double jeopardy of being both young and female. So the challenges that you face, we feel those two, and then the challenges that women face, we feel those two on an even deeper level. I don't think women in this um, environment, a lot of women don't have, or they don't see themselves in leadership positions because they don't even think that they are supposed to be leaders. From a career perspective, uh, being a HR specialist myself, every day I see these challenges in HR. I mean, I'm in charge of recruitment, and I see that, first of all, the qualifications are not there. Women are more likely to not have the re relevant qualifications as compared to their male counterparts. When a father doesn't raise his daughter to aspire to leadership positions, then she won't have um, the confidence that she needs to take up on leadership roles because she hasn't seen her mom do that and she hasn't been raised in an environment where you know, a government that fosters her to be, uh, to view such positions. And a lot of the girls do not have vision beyond marriage. When I finish my university, I'll take a marriage and I'll have it. Okay, there's more to that. It takes a while to unlock it. Tomorrow should be better. Tomorrow, tomorrow, no, tomorrow I'll be traveling, I'll be traveling out of town and I won't come back to you the end of the month. So it's better we do everything today and settle everything today. Well, um, I'm sorry, I can't do that. Don't you want to open an account? You want to open an I account, do. so you have to come and meet me to open the account. So just whenever you are ready to open, for me to open the account according to my terms, or to my terms, just let me know.